Hello students, welcome to Vijayata IS Academy, New Delhi and myself is Lenin Kaki and I am the faculty of Geography and Science and Technology in Vijayata IS Academy and in, in this video we are going to discuss one topic from Science and Technology especially regarding the space topic okay that is gravitational waves. So we will see what is gravitational wave and what are the importance of these gravitational waves and how we will measure these gravitational waves and what are the instruments or equipments that are there for the measurement of these gravitational waves. So we will see all these things in this small video. Is it clear? So we will start with gravitational waves. So gravitational waves are nothing but see these are the vibrations. Gravitational waves are nothing but the vibrations or distortions that are occurring in the space time fabric. Okay, remember these are the vibrations or distortions that are occurring in the space time fabric but these vibrations and distortions occurs only when there is very huge event should take place okay remember a very huge event which is called as cataclysmic event okay for example for example when two black holes okay when two black holes comes and merges against each other okay or when any black hole and a neutron star comes and merges with each other okay so or otherwise any binary stars comes and uh, hits towards each other during that time a huge amount of energy is released in that process a big or huge amount of waves that are generated which are nothing but called as gravitational waves okay these waves will travel throughout this space right remember these waves which are traveling throughout the space when we place any instrument it can observe or it can measure these waves that are traveling in that path is it clear so first we will see what are these ones and then we will see how these are measured okay so gravitational waves are nothing but vibrations distortions in the space time fabric which are caused by some cataclysmic events such as any black holes or any supernova explosion that are occurring or any neutron stars that are during any big bang event such such these gravitational waves will be generated in the space is it clear so what are the important gravitational waves see these initially these gravitational waves were first mentioned by albert einstein during this 1916 itself okay so based on his theory of relativity relativity okay in 1916 itself einstein has mentioned about these gravitational waves for the first time in 1916 okay so they will carry the information okay see they will carry for example if any big event has been occurred in the space and these vibrations are observed in any instruments that are located on the earth surface then we can say something has happened in the space then we can go back and check okay what is that happened during that time like that we can go back and we can check what is the event that has occurred in the space okay so they will carry the info waves are in all this information will be carried by these gravitational waves and they will travel at the speed of light okay they will travel at the speed of light and in the process of traveling they will squeeze in one direction and it will try to elongate in other direction otherwise they will try to squeeze in that opposite direction then there will be elongation in the opposite direction okay for example for example if you see this is the earth right if, if gravitational waves are traveling like this then this gravitational waves will try to expand the earth in this direction okay will try to expand the earth in this direction and it will try to contract or squeeze okay it will try to squeeze the earth in this direction because gravitational waves are traveling expand the earth in this direction and in the process it will try to squeeze in the opposite direction okay so based on this expansion and squeezing we can say in which direction these gravitational waves are traveling and whether the gravitational waves are traveling or not also we can see is it clear okay so see remember around one point 3 billion years ago okay 1.3 billion years ago there was an event in the space has taken place where two black holes two black holes of masses one black is around 29 times the mass of 
sun and another black hole mass is around 36 times the mass of sun okay there were two black holes in the universe where these two black holes started coming close to each other and they are traveling or they are moving around each other means this black hole is traveling or moving around this black hole and this black hole is trying to move around this black hole so in that process these two black holes are started moving against or around each other like that okay so because of gravity these are having huge amount of density because of high density there will be huge amount of gravity right so they are started attracting against each other this one is pulling this this mass towards each other means this black hole is pulling this black hole towards each other and this black hole is trying to pull this black hole towards this black hole okay in that process they came close to each other and at one point of time these two black holes started merging against each other okay remember these two black holes started merging against each other and new black hole has been formed remember a new black hole has been formed and it was observed that it was observed that the mass of new black hole the mass is that of mass of sun okay the new black hole is the mass of the sun but if we add these two if we add these two 65 times but the new black hole mass it was observed was it is having only 62 times right so what happened to this three times mass of the sun okay so these three times mass of the sun has been released in the form of energy right that energy is nothing but it has released in the form of some vibrations those vibrations are nothing but called as gravitational waves which were traveled and were observed by some of the instruments that are located on the earth's surface is it clear done so these things were observed and it was observed only the new black hole mass was there three times of the mass of the black hole has been gone in the form of vibrations is it clear so there are some instruments that are there which can be used to measure these black holes for example if you see for example if you see if a or any gravitational waves that is traveling like this right so in one direction it is trying to expand and in other direction it is trying to expand in this direction means it is squeezing that one in this direction and it is trying to expand in this direction so whenever these waves are traveling through any object it will try to expand and squeeze the odd uh, object in different directions okay so if you see this experimental setup okay the experimental setup that is used to measure the gravitational waves is called as LIGO okay remember LIGO L I G O LIGO okay so we'll see what is this LIGO and where this LIGO uh, LIGO experimental setups are there throughout the world okay so we'll see how these gravitational waves are measured using this LIGO setup okay so LIGO means laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory okay so LIGO means laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory and if you see if you see from this picture something that is arranged in the form of L shape okay something that is arranged in the form of L shape okay so if you see this is some mirror is there here some mirror is there here some light has been passed from here okay the same setup was here also somewhere the black holes are merged and these black holes which are merged are releasing some vibrations are nothing but gravitational waves when these gravitational waves are passing through this experimental setup or observatory there in this experimental setup we have observed the gravitational waves okay so we'll see how they are measured and this experimental setup in detail so first we'll see how it is set up okay so it is generally set up in which shape in l shape right so okay so at these locations they have placed mirrors remember this is mirror and this is also one more mirror okay from here from here they released a laser beam okay they released a laser beam and he here one beam splitter one beam splitter has been arranged here so that whatever the laser that has been coming from here it will split into two halves so that 
this laser whatever that has been split here it into two halves and will travel try to travel in these directions okay but remember the conditions here what they have taken is the length of this side and the length of this side are same for example they have taken 4 kilometers distance in this direction and 4 kilometers distance in this direction okay means these mirrors are placed at a distance of 4 kilometers perpendicularly okay one mirror one at 4 kilometers mirror two at 4 kilometers and as the distance is same right so distance is same the light is traveling at the same speed right we cannot change the speed of the light right so as this light speed has been same and if you know distance okay formula will be there right time travel and distance and the speed of the light based on this we can calculate at what time it is coming back right so if this distance is same and if this speed is same then the time taken by this light okay whatever the light or beam that is traveling it will come back at the same time because see these mirrors whatever see one more setup will be there here see one more setup they will place photo detector here and this whatever see as mirrors are placed here whatever the light that is traveling here this light will hit this it will be reflected back right so it will come like this this light also whatever that is going here after hitting this mirror it will try to come back in this direction right so if speed of the light is same and distance is same then the time taken by this light beam whatever that is splitting from here will take the same time to go from here and to come back here one is the time overall time taken by this beam to go to this mirror and hitting this mirror and coming back to the same location okay and this is the time taken by this mirror with this beam of light that is traveling in this direction and coming back okay if you see if you distance are same in this both the direction then t1 should be is equal to t2 because the length is same the speed is same so the time taken by these waves or light to travel will also be same okay and this ray of beam okay whatever the ray of beam that has been sent here they have been sent in such a way that okay they are sent in destructive interference mode destructive in this mode they have sent this one means see any light will travel in the form of wave like this right so this is crushed this is trough right so in destructive interference once see this is one wave that is traveling like this and second wave this is traveling like this right so in destructive interference the crust of one wave will be intersected with the trough of one wave so that both will cancel against each other remember the crust of one wave will be intersected with the trough of other wave so that both will be cancelled against each other so whatever the wave that is coming back from here this one and the wave that is coming here these two will try to interact at this location and as these waves are released in the form of this after reaching here after reaching here these two will merge in such a way that they will destruct e against each other because the crust of one will be merged with the trough of other wave so that both will be cancelled against each other once there is they, means once these waves are cancelled against each other then there won't be any detection on this photo detector means nothing will be fall on this photo detector so because of that one there won't be any means when nothing is there on this photo detector there won't be any generation of electricity okay if something is falling on this photo detector then there will be a kind of small electric current will be generated in this photo detector but once these returning waves whatever that are coming at the same time and as they are released in destructive interference mode they will try to cancel against each other and nothing will be reported on this photo detector is it clear so because of that one nothing is reported okay this is the case one okay this is the first case now we will take one more case okay so the same setup i will take same setup this is mirror one and this is mirror two okay so this is the beam splitter and this is the laser that has been released here and this is the photo detector that has been arranged here okay the distance is four kilometers the distance is four kilometers right but now now if if okay so now if 
gravitational for a, for example if gravitational waves have been passed like this if gravitational waves have been passed like this means the length in that direction will start increasing right slide right so in the direction of the gravitational wave the length will be increased it means here in this direction elongation will be done for example let us assume that elongation will be of delta x okay so something that is elongated in this direction that is added as delta x the same contraction will occur in the opposite direction right in the perpendicular direction so there will be a contraction of this delta x means here the length has been increased and in this direction length has been reduced right so in this case both the lengths are different but here the lengths are same right in the both the direction so now once this beam splitter whatever this uh, laser that is releasing this beam after splitting here it is taking some time okay this wave will try to go in this direction and it will hit this one and it will try to come like this and this wave will try to go in this direction and it will try to come in this direction but but you know as the speed of the light is same in both the cases but the distance is different as distance is different this is the time t1 and this is the time t2 in this case as distances are different in both the direction t1 is not equal to t2 in this case okay t1 is not equal to t2 because as distance is more in this direction this wave will take time to go there it will take more time to go there and it will also take more time to reach to the original position by the time this wave that has been reached to this position this wave as distance is very less okay this will go and it will hit and it will come back by this time okay so this time this wave will uh, this whatever this light will come earlier and this will will come little bit late okay and earlier what we have discussed both are released in the form of destructive interference right but now as both of these waves are coming in different times there won't be any merger of this crust and trough means this will fail now okay this in destructive interference will not work because both of these waves are coming at different times because of this one they cannot cancel against each other once they are not cancelling against each other then remember they will try to fall on this photo detector they will try to fall on this photo detector once these lights are falling on this photo detector then this photo detector will start releasing or generating electricity remember this photo detector will try to generate electricity this once this electricity is generated means we, we can know that okay something has happened what is that earlier in normal cases the distance which we have taken is only four and four kilometers four kilometers okay once the distance is same the time taken by this wave to travel is same so both will cancel against each other and nothing is reported on this one means there is no elongation or contraction in this direction or in this direction but now as gravitational waves are passing through this one in one direction there is elongation in another direction there is contraction so because of this one there is a distortion or distorted in the lens in both the directions because of this one we can say something event has occurred in the space because of that one gravitational waves has been passed because of passing of these gravitational waves there will be elongation in one direction and there will be contraction in other direction so like this indirectly we can know these gravitational waves has been passed through this location is it clear gravitational waves location like this we have detected these gravitational waves that occurred in the space around 1.3 billion years ago where two black holes have been merged and they have released three energy okay three times the mass of sun has been released as energy in the form of some vibrations which are nothing but called as gravitational waves is it clear so i hope you can understand in these two cases whether the gravitational waves have been generated and how they are measured okay so there are certain lego whatever this lego which we have mentioned right these sort of lego observatories are located observatories are located throughout the world two lego observatories in usa remember there are how many two lego observatories are there in usa one is in hanford and second one is livingston okay so these are the two observatories that are there in usa and one more observatory was there in japan okay kagra and one more is called as Virgo in Italy and Geo of Germany and in India this is very very important for our exam in India we have 
one we are constructing one observatory in hingoli of maharashtra in india okay remember in hingoli of maharashtra of india we are planning a ligo observatory in india okay so these are some of the ligo observatories that are located throughout the world okay so these whatever these observatories which we have seen here these are all all located on the means located okay all these are around right so on the surface there okay on the earth these are all constructed right but there are some observatories okay because these waves which are traveling in the space there are some observatories or a kind of telescopes are there in the space also okay there are certain observatories in the space which are used for the observation of these gravitational waves okay so those observatories okay if you see from this picture if you see from this picture can you see here one satellite is located here okay one more satellite is there these satellites okay so these satellites which are located in the space these satellites are also supposed to observe these gravitational waves okay so there are two experimental setups that are there one is lisa pathfinder this lisa pathfinder is help in observing these gravitational waves in the okay in the deep space and one more is there evolved lisa also called as e lisa okay in this e lisa like this three equatorial means see these three satellites have been located at equidistance okay so the distance between these two and the distance between these two and these the distance between these two are same so these three satellites have been arranged space and using this one they are trying to observe these gravitational waves in the space okay on the ground there are different ligo observatories and on the space in the space these two are the ligo observatories that are there which are called as lisa pathfinder and the second one is called lisa or uh, e lisa also called as evolved lisa which is there in the space and this one was asked 2 3 years back see as prelims objective question okay so we have to know what is what names those names are enough for our exam which helps us to clear this exam okay is it clear i hope you can understand you have understood what is gravitational waves and what about the ligo and whatever the space what are the gravitational waves observatories that are there on the earth surface and also on the space whatever that are there i hope you have understood this topic thank you student